in 2021, I also was very lucky that I got another opportunity where I deployed as a peacekeeper, uh, UNMO, so UN Military Observer, uh, to our current uh, Australian operation, Op Paladin, which is the ADF con tribute uh, to UNSO. Um, it was there I was deployed for eight months where I lived in uh, Lebanon and I was uh, posted to the out, um, outpost station of uh, Team Zulu. I worked with approximately 10 to 12 people over there from other countries, from Norway to Sweden to Denmark to China to Fiji, Irish. Um, and it was there where we um, patrolled. We used to jump in a vehicle into an up armoured vehicle and would do a six hour patrol along the blue line. And that's where we were able to monitor, observe and report any violations uh, in vicinity of the blue line under the United Nations Security Council resolution. Um, it was a great opportunity because not only did you work for the UN, you got to represent the ADF, but you also got to work within a community of Lebanon. Lebanese people are fantastic, very similar to Fiji. They are friendly, they are humble, they'll give you the shirt off their back to you. Um, and it's there, once again, I made some really good uh, relationships, uh, but I also was very privileged and felt very lucky to be an Australian citizen, but also a member of the ADF. Coming back um, to Australia after being posted to um, a Middle East country, it's these things that you uh, take for granted that we are very um, free to do a lot of things, um, but uh, we enjoy the, um, the, the Western society. So everybody has a different pathway and a different story. Um, we ask ourselves, if I had my time again, would I have joined military a little bit sooner? Part of me, 50% of me says yes, because I've, I've missed that opportunity to come straight out of school and meet the mateship that I have now um, and the, the, the skills, the knowledge, uh, the education, uh, just, just life in general that the Army provides and the opportunities to travel, um, not only around Australia, but internationally as well. So those little things, I'm a little bit jealous that I've started so long uh, but on the other hand, it's also, I had a, a little bit of a life beforehand, so I've now been able to bring uh, life experiences and my own little part of external into uh, defence. That's what makes ADF so unique, is that there's no one size fits everyone. We bring people in from 17 years old, okay, whether you want to go OR or whether you want to go officer, whether you want to come in at 53 years old. There's a, there's a uh, position and a role for everybody. Um, would I change, change it again? Um, I don't think I will, um, but I, the one thing that I would recommend is that I would definitely, as part of my life, one of my careers is definitely the ADF. Now, I've done 10 years to date. Um, where do I see myself in the future? I see myself retiring from the ADF. Uh, this is sort of my second slash third career, uh, but this is my career now because this is where I can make a difference. This is where I'm quite happy, but this is also that job satisfaction that I can keep pushing and pushing and sort of keep growing as an individual and not sort of get too bored and get plateaued. So.